Since I'm stuck in quarantine, I decided to make a video where I show my Blu-ray collection. These are all in the alphabetical order, starting with the numbered movies. Um, so, let's just get started. I have 10 Cloverfield Lane, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, John Goodman. Um, the best of the Cloverfield movies. I like all the Cloverfield movies, and this is definitely the best, indisputably. I got 21 and over. I watched this movie on a whim on Netflix once. It stars Miles Teller and probably one of his first roles. Um, it's a really enjoyable movie. It's it's it's, it's stupid. It says from the writers of The Hangover, and if you're looking for some, something like that, you'll enjoy it. But I mean, uh, give it a shot if you if you find it on streaming. I have a uh, Twenty One Jump Street, Twenty Two Jump Street, Twenty Three Jump. Okay. I have a uh, 28 days later and 28 weeks later, fittingly wearing a mask. Um, these are both really good movies. People, uh, people really like 28 weeks later, and I so did I for a long time. But I've heard that uh, maybe it isn't as good as it was as it as it uh, was initially received. I need to revisit 28 weeks later. I know 28 days later is considered a classic, but I. <laughs> I tried watching that recently, and I, can, I just couldn't get through it. 28 weeks later, though, I enjoyed that originally. I've heard bad things about it. 30 minutes or less. The 40-year-old version. 42, the Jackie Robinson story with Chadwick Boseman. 47 meters down. 50 first, 51st date. 50-50, 127 hours with a Deadpool slipcover, um, he did this promotion a few months back at Walmart, or maybe even Target too, um, where they released, re-released Fox movies, 127 hours, with Deadpool exclusive co uh, slipcovers, that was cool, I, I bought a, I bought a few, I, maybe two actually, that's one of them, 127, a good movie by the way, 127 hours, and I have a triple feature pack, with 300, uh, Troy, Director's Cut, and Alexander Revisited by uh, Oliver Stone. Um, I know that cut is like four hours long, and uh, not really a sword and sandal kind of guy. But you know, I think I put this whole set for like $10, so it was good. Most of these movies are used, by the way, so I didn't spend, I didn't spend that much money on them. I didn't, I didn't break the bank getting all this together. I got 300, Rise of an Empire, 3D. By the way, this. 99 cent store, two dollars at the 99 cent store. So yeah, just keep an eye open for good deals, and eventually you'll get a sizable collection. I have a 1408, the Mist double feature, and uh, I'm considering buying the Mist, the Mist, um, in the its own Blu-ray uh, set because I really want the black and white version. I heard that's that's really it's a really uh, unique experience, and it's the one that the director himself prefers. Frank Darabon, uh, Sandy Kubrick's 2001, 2012 Godzilla Total Feature, 310 to Yuma, About Last Night, Seven Heart, Agents of Shield Season One and Season Two. Um, I've been I I've been in the market to buy Season Three, Season Four, and I've been looking. I've been keeping my eyes peeled for. Blu-ray copy of uh, season five and six, but um, you know they're kind of hard to come by. I mean, they're mostly um, I think I think ones I was, I was looking into are actually um, UK releases. They are region free, but again, I'm not sure if I want to go out of my way to get really expensive copies of these of these uh, of the seasons because I, I do love this show, but it's available on streaming, and I, I I'm really holding out hope that. They'll just release all seven seasons in some kind of a, you know, box set. Disney should do that, please. After season seven airs, I have Alien, Aliens, Alien Three. I do not have Alien Resurrection. I need to get that. I know it's a controversial movie, but I want to complete the set. I have Alien Covenant, Alien vs Predators double feature. With the uh, Requiem. 
I have Alita Battle Angel make a sequel to this. Robert Rodriguez. Beautiful movie. Amazing. I, I cannot imagine the sequel to this going on Disney+. Plus. That's not, that's not going to happen, guys. But uh, Disney should really consider putting some faith behind Robert Rodriguez and the fan base of Alita Battle Angel. That movie was really, really fun. I have Superman. All-Star Superman, sorry. All-Star Superman. I have All Superheroes Must Die. Indie film with Lucas Till. Aloha, where the whitest woman ever, Emma Stone, plays a Hawaiian woman. Oh, Emma Stone again. Maze Spider-Man. 3D. Maze Spider-Man 2. Just regular. American History X. American Hustle. American Horror Story Season 1. American Horror Story Season 3 and Season 4. I don't have two. I need to get that. I know it's sort of the best season by a lot of people, but, you know. I do really enjoy the series. I, I want to get them all on Blu-ray. I know Season 6 is on Blu-ray. I haven't seen Season 5, though, which, which is weird. And I know they're all really expensive, so I'm taking my time for them. All of these movies they bought are all the, these seasons of uh, American Horror Story. I got for $5 at various... Outlet, so let's see. I have American Pie, American Pie 2, American Reunion, and American Pie Book of Love. That's another movie I need to add to the collection. American Wedding, I don't have that. American Psycho, Am Amityville Horror. Oh, no, that's not a fucking word. Am 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 Amityville, I don't fucking know. Amityville Horror. The one with Jane, what's the, what's the, what are their names? Ed and Lorraine Warren. Uh, Anaconda. Anastasia. Don Bluth. Hey, actually, Disney should consider remaking Fox, originally Fox owned uh, animated features like Ice Age and Anastasia. Does they own them now? I mean, no one's going to call Anastasia a Disney princess, but. Do a live action remake of the movie, retool it maybe a little bit, make it a little different, and I think people will, will come come and see it as give it the Disney title, and uh, you know people already think this is a Disney movie anyway. It's a Don Bluth movie, by the way, I think. Um, Android Cop, Asylum, and so it goes. What's this fucking name? Rob Reiner, Rob Reiner film, Annabelle Creation. I don't have Annabelle, the original. I have Annabelle Comes Home. Ant's Man. Ant's Man is an ass man. Ant's Man the Wasp, not on Disney Plus yet. Apollo 13. Apollo 18. Scary. Aquaman. Um. Aquarium 2D. I think about this at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just a test your, test your setup. I mean, I, I, I keep it with the rest of the collection just for the sake of simplicity, but I might test my, test my setup later. Argo, Ben Affleck. Arrow Season 2. I remember I bought this when I first started my collection. I thought it would be so cool to find this this. Season of a TV show, it's usually $20, $30 for $15. It, that wasn't a good deal. I do not read, I, I don't know why I bought this. I don't even like Arrow, but I have season two on Blu ray. I'll buy season one eventually, just to, you know, just to have both seasons. And um, I might even get into Arrow eventually too, but as of now, Assassins, Attack the Block. Avatar, the last air conditioner. Avatar, the last air conditioner. Avengers, original. Avengers, Age of Ultron. This movie's not good. Stop saying it's good, Twitter. It's not good. Avengers, Infinity War, 4K. Avengers, Endgame. Crap. Avengers, Endgame, 4K. Baby Driver, excellent film. 
went with some friends to see it. I've always enjoyed Edgar, Edgar Wright's films, but I had no idea what this movie was about going into it, and I really enjoyed it. Bad Boys 1 and 2. I bought this for $5 the day after Black Friday, I think. I know, well, the week after Black Friday. Great deal. Uh, Bad Santa. Bad Santa 2. Bad I don't know, Bad Words. I don't know what that's going to say. I have the four film favorites. Film favorite Batman collection. A little slip over. I'm gonna have let's see some more Batman movies. I have Batman V Superman, v Superman Dawn of Justice. I actually like these in Syndicate. Batman Assault in Arkham. Batman Bad Blood. Batman, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and Part 2. Batman Hush, this is for $6 on Black Friday last year. Batman vs. the Ninja Turtles. Batman Year One. Beauty and the Beast. I found this for, uh, pretty cheap a few days ago at Walmart. Beauty and the Briefcase. Hilary Duff. ABC movie. I didn't even know they made. They printed ABC Family movies. Original movies on Blu ray. That's kind of cool. That's really the only reason I keep, keep it in the collection. Beginners, Christopher Plummer, Isaiah, uh, Beyond the Lights, Bernie, The Big C. I haven't watched the show, show um, but I found the whole series for $5. Crap. I the whole series for $5 at a thrift store. And, you know, I thought, you know, I might get a bug, but try it. It's $5 whole series. What's interesting though, you got disc one and disc two of season one. Disc one and disc two of season two. Disc only one disc for season three. Of course all the episodes are only fit on one disc. All the episodes for season four on one disc because all the episodes fit on one disc. And it's just empty space. I thought that I was missing like a special features disc or something. No, six discs set. Only six discs. Mill Creek. What are you doing? Thank you for reprinting things that wouldn't be printed on Blu ray otherwise, though. Thank you for that. Big Hero 6. Bitch Slap. I found this at uh, the 90, 99 cent store. It reminded me of uh, that Quentin Tarantino uh, Frank House thing he did with uh, Robert Rodriguez. So I picked it up for two dollars. Birdman, Black Activity, Black Panther, Black or White with uh, Octavia Spencer and Kevin Costner. Blade Two. I don't have Blade. I need, I just get that. I'm not getting Blade Three. I'm not wasting money on that. I have a uh, Blade Runner. The whole whole shebang. Five disc complete. Collector's edition. Um, I haven't. I I've tried watching the original. I'm just fucking. I can't. I can't even get through it. I do, however, love the sequel. Forty. Uh, twenty forty nine. Great movie. Blood. Book of Life. The Born Classified Collection. This uh set. Comes with the first four Born movies Born Identity, Born Supremacy, Born Ultimatum, and fucking what's his name? Jeremy Renner, uh, Born Legacy. It also comes with um, bonus disc special features, but here, Born, Reason Born, is just a cardboard cutout, and uh, it says. The space is the space reserved for 
Jason Bourne sold separately. Coming 2016. I'm assuming this was printed in 2015. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of an insult, right? I just... Whatever. I, I found it for, like, five bucks at Walmart. Or seen it for five bucks at Walmart. I'll buy it eventually. I'm not in a rush. I'm not a big fan of Jason Bourne. The Boy. See what just came out. I'm gonna watch it. Braveheart. The Breakfast Club. Second, second sec, second row. Okay, so uh, after Breakfast Club, I have uh, Bridesmaids. Paul Feig. Feig. Brokeback Mountain. That was trending on Twitter recently. The Brothers Grimm. Brooklyn's Finest. Bruno. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Bumblebee. Burlesque. Burn After Reading. Bearing the X. Aton Yelchin and uh, Joe Dante. I got Cabin in the Woods. Cabin Fever. We're all experiencing that right now. <laughs> Cabin Fever, uh, Patient Zero. Call Me By Your Name. Can't Hardly Wait. Um, this was a re-release, actually. I got this maybe last year, year before. Um... Yeah, I, I've been wanting this on Blu-ray for a long, for a long time, for a long time, and uh, it was so expensive when I first started looking for it. But yeah, they, they did a re-release. I got this for like ten bucks, maybe ten, twelve, maybe. I don't know. A really cheap Captain America. You know, relatively cheap <laughs> Captain America: The First Avenger. Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Civil War, Captain, Captain America Civil War, Captain Marvel, 4K, Carrie, and the Carrie remake. I like both these movies a lot. I really enjoyed the book. Book's a lot, a lot of fun. Book's, book's a good experience if you've never read it and really enjoy the movies. Um, Casino Royale, James Bond, Changeling. Uh, Chronicle, great movie, great superhero movie, and found footage movie. Chappie, Neil Blomkamp, uh, Charlie Countryman, I don't know what that is, I don't, it's in my collection. It stars uh, Shia LaBeouf though. Chasing Amy, Kevin Smith, I go wrong there. She probably doesn't too, for some reason, she probably doesn't one isn't on Blu-ray. That's bizarre, right? Eh? I don't know how I got this, but she probably doesn't want non Blu ray. Can't complete the, complete the collection because I don't I don't know. Disney get on get Disney get on that. Make it a Disney Movie Club exclusive, please. Chef. Freaking John Favreau. Is for some reason a stud in that movie. Shoot a girl with one world. I own this movie only because it was a dollar, first of all. And because I've never seen a, de a decom on Blu-ray. Maybe the high school musical movies, but... Yeah. I, the novelty of a decom on Blu-ray is pretty cool. Speaking of decoms, I actually just watched Miniman on Disney+. Plus. Really good. Child's Play, original. Child's Play 2. Child's Play 3. Bride of Chucky. Seed of Chucky. Curse of Chucky. Cult, fuck. <laughs> Cult of Chucky. I'm really wait I'm waiting on that Don Mancini series that's going to sci-fi. Really want to watch that. I wonder if it's in production or if it's halted because of the coronavirus. I have a Child's Play remake. I want to non chocolate movies. A Christmas Carol. That's for free on a Disney Movie Insider. Not, it's like all Disney Movie Insiders now, but that, whatever that was called before. I got it for you in there. Cinderella. Cinderella 2 and 3. Uh, 2 is okay. 
three slaps. It slaps. It's, a, it's the best of the trilogy. Clash of the Titans. Don't have the sequel. Cleopatra. Clerks. And Clerks 2. Again, Kevin Smith. Can't go wrong. Close Range. Cloverfield, the original. I just want to get those together. Maybe when I get Cloverfield Paradox. I don't have the Cloverfield Paradox on Blu ray. Uh, Coco. Cold in July, but this is for a dollar, I think, at Dollar Tree. The Collector. I don't have the collection or the the new one that's coming out, but um, I don't really like I don't really like these movies in general. Those they're so gratuitous, to torture porn. My thing. Uh, Columbiana. I have a double feature with Dolph Lundgren, uh, Command Performance, and Direct Contact. I think I got that at Dollar Tree too. I've got a lot of these with as a Dollar Tree, so I didn't spend too much. Um, the Conjuring with the subcover. Conjuring Two. Contagion. Oh, topical. Constantine. Keanu Reeves, also topical. The Crow. Sorry. Crow with that cool uh, ah, VHS slipcover that they've been doing at Walmart. I don't know if it's, it's not exclusively Walmart, I don't know that, but uh, I haven't seen too many of them. Crossing over with Harrison Ford. Uh, Curse. This is actually a, the reu a reunion of Kevin Smith and Kevin Williamson of Scream fame. And it is not nearly as good as Scream. It's actually very, pretty bad. Oh, I know there's a lot of studio interference in this movie. I watched a good amount of it on Sci-Fi Channel a few years ago, which is why I went out and found it. But um, I enjoy the movie a little bit. It's not bad. It just, it's it is, it is it is a bad movie, but it's a good bad movie. I enjoy it. Um, for some reason, the movie starts with uh, Bowling for Soup playing at a concert or something at a amusement park. It's really bizarre. This movie's really, really weird. Dances with Wolf. Well, dances with Wolves. Excuse me. I have Daredevil, Elektra, and League of Extraordinary Gentlemen um, on a, one of those uh, triple features discs. Pieces. Um, I have the Daredevil Season 1, Netflix Season 1, on Blu ray. I don't have Netflix anymore, so it's good to have. I have Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. This for Nolan Trilogy. Dark Shadows. Couples Retreat. What the fuck? Oh, I fucked that up. Anyway. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix it later. Let's just go through these. Couples Retreat. Courage Under Fire. Coyote Ugly. Crank. Crank 2 and Transporter 3 for some reason. Um, all on one disc, no, no special features at all, but it's five dollars. You know, I don't need special features of Crank. If I did, ever did, I'm sure they're on YouTube or something. The Darkest Hour? Really? I never heard of this movie outside of um, where I got it. I got it for pretty cheap. But uh, it stars, who does it star? It stars someone notable. No, it doesn't even say. Uh, I think it's Joel Kinnaman from uh, Suicide, Suicide Squad is in this movie. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. It's really good. Like, apocalyptic movie, alien movie. Really enjoyed it. It's not the Darkest Hour, that movie that came out two years ago. It's something else. Uh, I have Date Night with Steve Carell. Tina Fey. Dallas Buyers Club. Another Deadpool case. Um... Day After Tomorrow, Dear John, Dead Man Wonderland, Deadpool, 
Something inferior Deadpool 2. It's not it's not bad. It's just not as good as the original, in my opinion. The if you don't think the movie's bad, try watching the uh that re release they did last December with uh not last December, December before that. The uh, charity one. That one's so fucking boring. Death of Superman. The Descent. That's a good movie. I don't have a Descent too. The Devil's Zone, another Harrison Ford movie. The Devil's Rejects. I'm not a big fan of Rob Zombie, but I I enjoy that movie a lot. District 9. Crazy Rich Agents. Again, well, where are the C's coming from here? The Crazies. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a double feature. The Crazies and Let Me let me In. That uh, one of the colleagues from Moretz. Excuse me. Creed. Dread. Original. No, no sorry. Not the original. The uh, remake. With. Oh, this fucking. Carl Urban. Really enjoyed that guy from the boys. Drive. You can see it. Drive. Layer here. Driven to Kill. Steven Seagal. Drowning. Fuck. Due date. Dune. Remake coming out. A uh, picture with Timothy Chalamet um, was released recently. Today, I, I think, today when I'm filming this, actually. Dunkirk. Christopher Nolan. Dracula. Bram Stoker Dracula. Kenneth Branagh movie. Drag Me to Hell. Sam Raimi movie. Sam Raimi doing, now doing the, uh, uh Doctor Strange sequel. Dragon Ball Z, Broly. I don't, I don't have any of the Dragon Ball Z movies, but I, I enjoy Dragon Ball Z a lot. I have the rest of the series on DVD somewhere. Disturbia, good movie. I enjoy it a lot. Die Hard, five movie collection. I've never watched any of these movies. I don't plan to in the future or anytime soon. Maybe the original. Maybe Die Hard with a Vengeance. My friend says it's really good. Django Unchained. I don't like that movie. Doctor Strange, we're just talking about that. Dog Soldiers, um, from the creator. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, it's right here. Director of Descent. I enjoyed that movie too. Donnie Darko. I don't like that movie. Don't breathe. Dope. I I love this movie to death. The pieces. I I really do. Um, Rick Fam Woo. Yiwa, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just destroying the name. Uh, he was originally attached to direct the uh, Flash movie that's never happening. And uh, I was really disappointed when he was taking off of it. But the rest of the cast is just kind of kind of crazy how everyone else went on to do really cool things. Including um, we have Zoe, Zoe Kravitz, Kravitz coming to us as, back, as a Catwoman in the Batman movie. I have Shameek Moore voicing... Miles Morales in the uh, Spider-Verse movies. They have Tony Rivalori in the Spider-Man Spider movies. We have uh, Kirst Kirstie Clemens. I think she was working with Fit Rick, Rick, the director of this movie, to uh, uh, star as, uh, what's, her, what's her name? Candace? No, nah, the, the, the actress's name. Actress's name. Iris. Iris West in the Flash movie, which she had dropped out along with Rick. So, yeah. Dope. I really enjoy this movie. I really enjoy it. Give it a watch if you can. Doubt. And Don John. Uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. I always pronounce his name as Orsib Gordon Levitt. Sorry, Scarlett Johansson. Really, really enjoy this movie. I watched it once, maybe on Netflix. Good movie. It's all effort. Um, so. I think I might uh, cut this video a little shorter than I thought it would. Um, I have a lot of Blu-rays and it's too a lot of time. My cat's messing around in my room. So let's, uh, let's, let's go to the final stack. 
of Easy A Emma Stone. Edge of Tomorrow. Edward Scissorhands. Elysium. Neil Bumpkamp. An Empress and the Warriors. That's a Dollar Tree find. Entourage. Don't know why I have that. I hate Entourage. I'm sorry. I'm not a, not a, not a fan. Enough said. E.T. Steelbook. This was a uh, find a steal. Steal. Um, this guy's messing around. I'm set. Stop doing. <sighs> Sorry. Um, this is a, this is a really good find. Of big lots, five dollars. So, and it's a steel book. A really good deal. Emperor's New School and uh, Crocs New Groove. Oh no, sorry, Emperor's New Groove, Crocs New Groove. Um, not a huge fan of the movies, but I'm um, I'm a real fan of the uh, Emperor's New School TV show. This guy's messing around. I have the Expendables, Fading Gigolo. Faculty, Robert Rodriguez movie, classic. Olympus has fallen. London has fallen. Fame. The Family. Fargo. That's the uh, the movie, not the show. Fast and the Furious 4. I don't have the uh, original 3. I need to get those. Probably in the uh, collection. Um, pack. Fast 5. I actually haven't watched any of these. I watched Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw Theaters. Did not like it. But uh, I mean, I should give these a try. Fast and Furious 6. I think I have, all, have them all up until the last one. Uh, Furious 7. That's the, oh, the Fade of the Furious, sorry. Slip covers. Fault in Our Stars. Zogart. A Few Good Men. The Fighter. Fantastic Four. I enjoy those movies, the originals, and uh, as like four rides the silver Surfer. and you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna watch it any, again any, anytime soon, but Fantastic Four remake. Um, it's bad, but I enjoyed it the first time I watched it. I, I gotta have to re, I'd have to revisit to revisit it, go for sure. Fight Club, probably one of the first movies I bought actually. The Final Destination uh, quadrilogy with the first four. I love all these movies. I really want to make a new one on Fast Five. Oh, sorry, Fast Five. <laughs> Final Destination Five. I have Finding Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. The Five Year Engagement with um, Chris Pratt and what's his name? Jason Segel. At the Flash season one. This is a season of a CW TV show that I purposefully bought big fan of the first season of this and eh, everything else in the first season of supergirl i don't have that but i re really do want my hands on it focus margot robbie and will smith uh forgetting sarah marshall i'm not a big fan of the movie i'm just really boring the fourth kind that scared the shit out of me as a kid freaky friday classic disney moon club exclusive Friday Night Lights and the Express double feature. Okay, we have uh, Friday the 13th, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street remake, both remakes, and Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason is classic. I love it. Uh, this is pretty bad, the uh, remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. But, um, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's it starts with Rooney Mara. And the Friday the 13th remake, surprisingly good. Give it a rewatch if you haven't. Given it a chance recently. I also have the Friday 13th collection here. The first eight movies. I enjoy Jason X and I used to enjoy Jason Goes to Hell. I don't have those on Blu-ray. I know 
they're they're pretty pricey. Um, I put them overseas, but I think I might eventually get that maybe this year. I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll see. Depending on how this coronavirus plays out. Uh, the remake of Fright Night. I don't have the original, but I enjoyed the original a lot. Fright Night Two. Um, just a remake of this, which I. I, I your guess is as good as mine why Fox to the, decided to do that. Frost Nixon. I don't know what this movie's about. Um, probably about Nixon. Ron Howard. I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out. Full Metal Jacket. Sam the Kubrick. Fury. David Ayer. Funny People. Really boring movie. Sorry. Um, what's his name? Jenna Patel, make fun of your movies. The Gallows. The Game Plan. I found this at um, another surprising Disney find. I found this at Walmart for five bucks. That was a really good deal. It's not a good movie, but it's not a good movie, but it is one that I remembered watching as a kid. Gattaca. Get him to the Greek. That's a sequel to Beating Sarah Marshall. Get Out, Jordan Peele, Get Shorty, and I have Ghostbusters 1 and 2, a collection, also $5, I found this while well, I bought a, when I bought a, the Bad Boys collection actually, um, I don't have the, I don't have the remake with the all-female cast, but I do enjoy the movie, Family Guy Blue Harvest, uh, the Ghost Rider Collection, both movies. Uh, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance Steelbook. I don't know how I found this. I got it for pretty cheap at a grocery store of all places. It was just sitting there. G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra. G.I. Joe, Retaliation. Gladiator. Look at this guy in the background. Gladiator. That was supposed to get a re-release in theaters, but you know, theaters shut down. I'm gonna have to rewatch it soon. Lee, the first season. I really enjoy Lee. Um, the first three or four seasons, first three seasons primarily. Um, I went downhill after that, but you know, I would I would not mind a remake or a reboot um, of Lee. I feel like there's a lot of missed opportunities with that show. And I think it's a, it's, a, it's a solid premise. Glee season 2. Glee season 3. The only seasons I need. And I bought them all for relatively cheap. Like $5, $7. Uh, Glee in concert. I found this at Dollar Tree. Going in the distance. Drew Barrymore, Justin Long. That's a weird combo. I'm not... I, I didn't do that bubble. Anyway. Uh, the Godzilla uh, 2014 movie. I don't have the new one. Shin Godzilla, I bought this recently. Um, I just threw it again, threw it next to the old, old you know, the live action one. I have the Godfather still book. The Godfather 2 still book. Gone with the Wind. Gone, sorry for that, Gone Girl. The lighting's really bad, I'm sorry about that. Good Will Hunting, Goodfellas, classic movie, Goosebumps, classic movie, I really enjoy Goosebumps, oh I have a triple feature with Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2 The New Batch, really enjoyed Goonies as a kid, love it, Gremlins 2 The New Batch, I found it on YouTube, in middle school, watched it, enjoyed it, I've never seen Gremlins, I need to watch that. Probably not, but I won't give it a watch until winter time. I mean, the mood, because I know it's more of a, it's kind of a Christmas movie. I have a Gran Torino. Gravity. Gatsby, The Great Gatsby. I really enjoyed the book. Let's see. The Green Hornet. It's that movie with, uh, Seth Rogen. 
Ah, uh, Green Lantern. This is a bad movie. I'll say that all right. It's a bad movie, but I enjoy having it in the collection. My Brewick book collection originally started off as a superhero movie collection. So, you know, I had to add it to the collection. And I, I'm, I am in the market for a, uh extended cut version of the movie with a cover. If I can find that for really cheap, like six bucks, five bucks, I I'm going to buy it for sure. It's to add it to the collection. Uh, the Grindhouse, the uh, Rob Rodriguez, Tarantino. Uh, collaboration. Enjoy both those movies. The Grudge. And Grudge Match. Guardians of the Galaxy. Great movie. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Better movie. Guild Trip. Hacksaw Ridge. Right? Um, good movie if I heard. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I got it around the time of the re at the reason of, re of the release of Midway. It's a zigger. Got her five bucks. My cat just censoring the shot. Just ignore him or enjoy him. He's cute. Hail Caesar. Hair. Hancock, Handmaiden, the ha the Handmaiden, the Greenfield, the Hangover, the Hangover Part Two, Crap. Happy Death Day, Christopher Landon, it's a good movie. Uh, sorry, let me get through these first. These are not thought of, I thought of the whole pile, but I have Halloween, the original. Great movie. I didn't watch it until recently, but, um, you know, it's classic. Michael Myers classic. The producer's cut of um, Halloween, Curse of Michael Myers. This is the sixth movie, I believe, in, in the franchise. Um, you know, it's not a great movie, but it's a good tough collection with that VHS subcover and uh, five bucks. Walmart, you know, good read deal. The, I have a triple feature of the rich the original cut of uh chris michael myers uh h2l which i really enjoy and resurrection which i don't necessarily enjoy but i watched it a lot as a kid so it's really nice to have a selection i don't have uh I, well what i am meaning to buy four and five oh two four and five it's a good set um three you know you don't need that picture halloween set but four and five i really enjoyed as a kid and two is just um and just to complete the set. Also, Halloween, the, re the remake from 2018. I don't have that either. So, I really enjoy Halloween. I just don't have all the movies. I have um, Halloween, Rob Zombie. And Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Rob Zombie. I don't think either of these movies are perfect. In fact, I think there are some improvements in the, um, in the theatrical cuts. Uh, we're only released in the, in Canada in Canada in Canada, so that's why I have all these. But neither ne um of the four versions of this these movies, I don't think any, any of them are solid. Which is disappointing, but I mean, I mean Rob Zombie, Rob Zombie it doesn't doesn't do it for me. So I've got Carolyn Kumar go to White Castle, classic comedy, sort of com comedy. Harold Kumar Escape from Autonomous Bay. Better than I remember, but not as good as I thought it was when I was a kid. And a very Harold Kumar Christmas. What are you doing? Hearts War. The Hateful Eight. And this is the end of the video. Hatfield and McCoys. Um, I bought this pretty recently um, with the big C actually. From earlier in the video, but uh, yeah, I, I read about this. It's uh, some sort of it was on AE, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give this a watch eventually. I know it's a couple hours long, but it, it does really in intrigue me. So, expect to update with the rest of the collection in a few days. Um, as of right now, this is the first few, first few uh, stacks. I don't know how many this how many this was, 
I am planning to grow the collection, and if you are at all intimidated by this, this collection, this started off very small, and even now, it it only grows um, incrementally, incrementally, um, and it, it really helps to go to grocery stores, grocery stores, thrift stores, dollar stores, and finding really good deals like that, and buying uh, primarily what you want to buy, and adding adding these collections you think would make your make your collection look unique. Um, if you clicked on this video just to, to pass the time, um, I really hope you consider getting a Blu-ray collection because physical media is it's timeless, and you'll always enjoy having it. This cat's going crazy. I need to get the get him out of the room. What are you doing? Okay, um, I'll have another video for you guys in a few days, or in a day maybe. I don't know when I'm gonna have time to film the video. It's 4 a.m. right now. Okay, good night. Hey, good night. Say good night. You're being bothering. Bye. This is Mac. Bye. 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 Bye.